Hey guys, Skill Out Noodle here. I wanted to go over how I use the sculpting workflow in Blender to achieve hard surface details. While it's often thought that sculpting is more adequate for organic shapes like characters, there's actually plenty of built-in functionality that allows you to add a ton of details to your hard surface models. Today I'm going to show you a few techniques to achieve this, and how I used it to add tons of detail to this fighter jet model. If you want to download this model, make sure to go check out my Patreon where you can download many of my 3D scenes and models to use in your artwork. With that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. So before jumping into sculpting, first we have to create a base mesh. Try to keep the mesh as low poly as possible, and keep good topology. With this model, I wanted to establish the overall form before I jumped into sculpting, and you can always modify the details after using this workflow. With your low poly model ready, make sure to add a multi-resolution modifier to each object. I try to keep the objects separate so that I can add a ton of detail and have the other things hidden so it doesn't slow down my workflow. After this, apply and delete all other modifiers like the mirror modifier, subdivision modifier. I like to apply the mirror modifier because we're actually going to use symmetrize in the sculpting workflow. Also make sure to fix any topology issues beforehand because if you don't, the multi-resolution modifier is going to get a little wonky. After you have your model prepped, switch into sculpting mode and test using a basic brush if you need more or less detail. After that, set symmetry if you want the details to be equal on each side and so you don't have to actually go and do that by hand, which would be far too difficult and would probably make your model uneven. So the first thing you'll notice is that we can't really get straight lines organically by using the brush tool. While you can try, you're never going to get it exact and it's going to end up having that lumpy, organic look when we really want a hard, clean look. So by pressing the E key, it'll open up all the different stroke types. Select the line stroke and now you can make straight lines. Now you can make straight lines, but we're going to need more precision and control, so that's where the mask tool comes in. Selecting the mask brush, use the straight line tool to etch in some designs. I like to use reference for this so I get the exact design that I want. You can also do it by eye and really go with what inspires you. Select the mesh filter tool. Go over to the tool panel and use the filter type inflate. Now you can extrude or inset to create those details that you need. You can also invert your mask so that you can actually just draw on what you want and then invert everything else to be what's not affected. Now with most hard surfacing, you might want to add bolts or other equally distributed details. By hitting E again, we can open up our tools and select the space tool. In the tool settings, go down and increase the spacing. I like to select draw brush so I get those even circular strokes. Now you can add bolts and screws along edge lines, which really adds to the detail and really creates that hard surface look. Now the final trick I like to use is decals, and this has to be one of the most powerful ones you can use. First you're going to want to download a details pack, which is basically just a bunch of black and white images. And these images are height maps, which allows you to extrude or inset the object using nothing but a texture. In the tool settings panel, add the decal image to the texture window, and use drag dot to place decals where needed. You can also press Control F to rotate the texture to where it's needed. Play around with this, mess with other packs, and see what you can get. And before you know it, you'll have a great model. So that's just a few techniques I use to add tons of detail to my models. And let me know what you'd like me to create in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my Patreon for more content. Thanks for watching.